Welcome to part one of the 2012 Eastern Colorado Awana Bible Quizzing Coaches Training. This training is specifically designed for TNT coaches. If you are interested in the coaches training for Trek and Journey, you will need to exit this page and go to the Trek and Journey page on www.awanaforkids.org and open the Bible Quizzes Coaches Training there. I am your host, Chad Smith, and will be walking you through this training. Before we get started, I want to share with you the impact that you can have on your team by going for the wrong gold. Let's go to Joshua 6, 18 through 19. Joshua 6, 18 through 19 says, And ye in any wise keep yourself from the accursed thing, lest you make yourselves accursed. When ye take of the accursed thing, and make the camp of Israel a curse, and trouble it. But all the silver and gold, and vessels of brass and iron, are consecrated unto the Lord. They shall come into the treasury of the Lord. In this passage, Joshua is setting the rules of what should be done with the spoils of Jericho when they attack the city. Anyone breaking these rules would bring a curse and trouble to Israel. In Joshua 7, 20-21, we can see what happens. The Bible says, And Achan answered Joshua and said, Indeed, I have sinned against the Lord God of Israel, and thus and thus have I done. When I saw among the spoils a goodly Babylonish garment, and two hundred shekels of silver, and a wedge of gold of fifty shekels weight, then I coveted them, and took them, and behold, they are hid in the earth in the midst of my tent, and the silver under it. Achan broke the rule that was set forth by God through Joshua and took spoils for his own good. He saw things that he wanted and he went after those things instead of what the Lord was wanting them to go after. Achan's actions cost the children of Israel the lives of 36 of their fighting men and in addition they lost the battle of Ai. You see going after the wrong gold will cost you, your team members and the clubbers that are watching you. In Joshua 7, 24-26, we find out exactly what it cost Achan and those around him. And the Bible says, And Joshua and all Israel with him took Achan the son of Zerah, and the silver and the garment, and the wedge of gold, and his sons and his daughters, and his oxen and his asses, and his sheep and his tent, and all that he had, and they brought them unto the valley of Achor. And Joshua said, Why hast thou troubled us? The Lord shall trouble thee this day. And all Israel stoned him with stones, and burned them with fire, after they had stoned them with stones. And they raised over him a great heap of stones unto this day. So the Lord turned from the fierceness of his anger. Wherefore the name of that place was called the Valley of Achor unto this day. You see, Achan lost his testimony and his life by going after the wrong gold. In addition, his actions were the cause of the death of his entire family, and for hardship and sadness for the families of the 36 men that were killed in the Battle of Ai. When we are in it to win some trophy, patch, or ribbon instead of the true gold, the souls of children and people, we lose our testimony and can never get it back. Our testimony is shattered and our ministry is questioned. Our standing with the children is forever damaged, and nothing we can do can ever undo what we did. So as a coach, be thinking about your testimony and what gold you are going after. Are you involved in Bible quizzing, Awana games, or any events just to win a trophy? Or are you after the souls of children and people, the true gold? See, the medal will be forgotten, but our poor testimony will linger in the minds of others for many years to come. In our efforts to win a trophy, we end up tarnishing the true gold, which is the lives of the children and youth that we are working with. So let us coach for the true gold, the lives of children and youth that we have influence with. The gold that you find within them is worth more than any trophy or medal. Show them honesty, integrity, and the truth of the gospel, and within them you will find a true gold mine. In Matthew 6, 19-21, it says, Lay not up for yourselves treasures upon earth, where moth and rust doth corrupt, and where thieves break through and steal. 
But lay up for yourselves treasures in heaven, where neither moth nor rust doth corrupt, and where thieves do not break through nor steal. For where your treasure is, there will your heart be also. Our prayer is that in being involved in Bible quizzing, Awana games, or other events, that your treasure will be the hearts of these children and youth and their families, and that you'll store up those treasures in heaven so that we can go after the true goal, the souls of people. As we start to take a look at the specific rules and regulations for the Eastern Colorado Awana Bible Quizzing, we wanted to let you know that you are responsible for all the general rules, etc. found in this training, and the event guidelines on the registration forms. If you have any questions, please feel free to contact either Karen or myself at chadsm at awana.org or at 719-749-2709. In addition, this training can be downloaded in a written format. Please click on the link on this page if you wish to download a written copy of this training. I hope you have enjoyed this portion of the Eastern Colorado Awana Bible Quizzing Coaches Training. I hope you will join us for part two of the training.